we were just waiting for our guest and co-director so i think we should start now so bismillahir rahmanir rahim rabbi shalli sadri wa salli amri wa halul ugdatan min lisani yafqahu qawli so i welcome all of you uh, on behalf of uh, fi karachi chapter would like to welcome all of you in today's session my name is sayyid abdul basit and i am one of the co-directors of uh, founder institute karachi chapter <coughs> so in the beginning of today's session inshallah we'll be starting with a short introduction about founder institute and then uh, we are expect we are, are we have invited three guests uh, from the industry from the tech ecosystem uh, first one is ahmed ayu who is the uh, co-founder of airlift uh, second is asif jafri who is the ceo of e ocean company and third we have sheikh ayaz ali who is the chief operating officer uh, who is the uh, ceo uh, of uh, uh, computing uh, cooperative uh, so he is also uh, ayaz uh, was also part of uh, this founder institute journey with us last year he graduated uh, and he started his another startup uh, so we are you can have more details about his startup and how he his experience he had with founder institute uh, ayaz uh, hope you can hear me ji ji basu bhai kaise hain aap theek hain alhamdulillah everything good zabardast so we have asfar hussain as well who is also one of our co director for founder institute karachi along with umar abdin uh, who is mashallah with us uh, in the previous cohort and uh, also uh, been uh, part of this journey as well so first of all without uh, wasting more time uh, i would like to start with the presentation so it's a short introduction about founder institute so those who have any question you can post in the q and a session and at the end of today's session we will try to answer all of your queries let me share my screen <clears throat> uh can you see my screen or uh, any one of you can confirm is it visible okay great okay great thanks sir so uh starting with founder institute founder institute uh, has a a very uh, more than a decade history it started in 2009 and for those who didn't know about founder institute it's basically a pre seed startup accelerator which is uh, like now uh, uh, active in more than uh, in multiple countries right now uh, they have access to entrepreneurs and uh, mentors in more than 90 plus countries and uh, right now uh, till date from 2009 till date they have uh, more than 5 5000 plus alumni uh, get benefit from this founder institute program and uh, they like uh, the the valuation of these startups which has been graduated from founder institute uh, it's more than 220 billion dollars and more than 20000 mentors uh, been part of this fi ecosystem uh, which provide a unique value and also guide the entrepreneurs throughout their startup journey so moving forward uh, just okay so as i mentioned uh, founder institute is uh, established in 2009 and we believe that entrepreneurs can create real impact on society but most startups fail because they lack expert feedback and proper focus during the early pre seed stage what we believe like uh, we usually heard uh, from people like uh, having uh, to have a good startup it's uh, i agree that uh, you should have a good idea but uh, either that idea is super unique or it's a me to idea it always depending on the people 
and when we talk about startup uh, and uh, having a right team it's uh, always starting with a co-founder or you can say the founder the the person who is uh, who took the decision to build something new and also with a determination to solve a problem that he or she faced in the society or across uh, his or her network so our program helps pre seed founders uh, we are not uh, we are targeting more about those founders who are at the pre seed stage and teams to get traction and funding through a devoted support network and structured growth process so uh, one unique thing about founder institute it's like it's a very structured program and it's a very rigorous program you will get to know about more uh, their program in the upcoming slides so starting till uh, in 2009 uh, like there are many startups which has been established during that era uh, <clears throat> some are uh, were part of this fi journey Uh, but most of we have seen like in, if you go back 10 12 years ago in 2000 since 2008 till to 2011 these are the startups which has been uh, uh, launched during that era and we, uh, here we can see airbnb angelist we have zoom so like uh, two years ago no one knows no one not much know about uh, zoom but we we seen uh, that since covid happened uh, the the demand of such services increased dramatically uh, zoom user base increased exponentially and we have other services as well like udemy uh, which is uh, the massive open online course example we have uber now we have kareem so there are many startup which has been grown uh, a decade ago but it always depending on uh the startups which has a very unique and ha has a long term view they they only only those startups can survive in this journey so they are we have seen that there are many startups which has been launched at at every part of the world but it uh, always depend on two things the idea and most importantly the people the founding team so we we have seen and we have believed that entrepreneurs thrive in disruption whenever any dis, uh, the word disruption occurs usually uh, any existing companies face a, a lot of disruption when any new entrant join the industry and come up with a idea for example when uber already launched kareem find a gap and then they launched it into 2012 and no one knew that kareem sold uh, the, themselves in for 3.4 billion dollar but uh, to uber but uh, that's the 8 7 to 8 year, years journey that they did and uh, they find a gap and then they disrupt the market so it always important that how you can identify the gap in the market and how you will be able to uh, come up with a proposition that uh, solve the problem so the world has seen it's time to rethink what is possible and the founder institute is here to help all those uh, entrepreneurs and uh, those who have already started their company uh, but would like to scale uh, their uh, startup or product or services a uh, founder institute can help in that way as well so <clears throat> these are the few area like we have a a, a four months program it's like a 14 weeks program uh, this is the last session uh, that probably will be having uh, online since covid happened probably from next year the session will be physically as we used to have it earlier so uh, usually founder institute uh, lies here in this ecosystem uh, at the pre seed accelerator level because we had uh, uh, some known brands in the form of startup weekend and y combinator but founder institute is uniquely proposition for those who are at the pre seed stage and uh, we help founders and teams to get a business to uh, get some traction and funding so we have two tracks uh, found institute is uh, ideal for those startups uh, who have an idea okay uh, probably if you have an idea and uh, you are thinking that if you are a full time employee somewhere and uh, you have some founding team as well as you have developed some prototype or mvp or uh, moving forward if you have already developed it launch the product 
and you have certain customer base uh, found institute program suits both such, such type of needs so who are at the early stage uh, who just have an idea didn't launch the product for them we have a launch track we are found earlier founders uh, focus on validation team building and go to market strategy uh those who already launched their product like we have seen that there are few founders who are registered in this program uh, for this 2021 cohort they have already launched it but they want to build uh, the product more strong and enhance the customer base so for them uh, we have a growth track uh, where later founders and team focus on traction and funding so the after the four months program uh, where uh, will get to know about uh, all such things and that helps you to start the business after four month program we have founder lab where if you are uh, from the uh, having if you need help from the uh, by developing a product market fit or raise funds for your startup or you need more financing like series a or series b financing especially so in that case founder institute help you uh, it's a select for founder founder lab uh, it's based on the recommendation of the directors uh, from each chapter they recommend the top graduates from each uh, cohort and then based on the nomination uh, uh, those founders uh, will be selected for founder lab and also you have uh, uh, continued support throughout that period because uh, as you are being known by that you are part of the fi alumni Uh, program um what are the results till now 60 plus companies uh, portfolio companies exited like 97 975 million dollar uh, startups raised from investors and these are the com- few companies who participated from founder institute uh, program and graduated later on and here you can see udemy you can see go place said peer by go far Uh, a port and so on so we have a uh, presence in all uh, part of the world right now and how we do it we find great people we give them a devoted support network put them through a very structured growth process program and provide a lifetime of support so we are not type of accelerator or incubator where we just give you the guidance for four months and then we are just pull back no we want to build a unicorn okay so for that we believe that it's very important that the founder himself or herself connect with mentors with directors and with, uh, with industry professionals from the ecosystem who can help them not only from the uh, advisory perspective but also help them to raise funds so first of all we find great people great companies start with great people no great not great ideas as i mentioned earlier so great ideas are important but more importantly people are who are, are the one who are driving it so if you able to come up so if we able to find out a right founder automatically the chance success rate is much higher as compared to uh, onboarding anyone who is not uh, matured enough to build a startup second thing we create a devoted support network so great companies are not built alone uh, it's required a constant feedback for that we have a Uh, more than twenty thousand plus mentors uh, worldwide, and for FI Karachi last time we had around more than twenty plus mentors. This time, probably we have around uh, thirty thirty to fifty mentors on board. <clears throat> and then uh, there is a unique thing about FI program. It's a equity collective where each founder, uh, each startup with who has graduated from the program. they will get 4% equity and fi will buy that 4% equity from that startup once that startup matured enough matured enough in such a way let's say if they raise any investment series a investment or a million dollar investment then uh, founder institute will exercise that 4% warrant with that startup and then though, though that 4% is divided equally among alumni mentors leaders fi hq so let's say if there is a 10 startups in a cohort and 10 startup graduated from that program so it's not only important to get feedback from the mentors but it's also equally important to get valuable feedback from your peers and we have seen in the past like uh, fi in fi programs 
uh, most of the founders uh, when we took their feedback they said that they got a lot of help and learning from their peers okay because when they are working on any mvp or building a product market fit or coming up developing a product, go to market strategy they get some guidance uh, from their peers as well and that's also add a lot of value so that kind of a feedback uh, and value in terms of monetary terms uh, equally divided among all the four stakeholders third uh, focus is a startup biggest challenge and speed is crucial so we believe it's important that four months is enough for anyone to validate their idea and then develop a mvp or uh, launch uh, after launch uh, target the potential customers so this is the launch track uh, where we help founders to validate and building the team and go to develop a go to market strategy starting with week 1 we have orientation vision customer development and every week we have some sessions going on uh, by onboarding the relevant uh, subject matter experts mentor from the industry similarly there is a bit difference uh, in the kpis you can say or the deliverables for those who are already launched their business for that we would assess their how much investment they can raise uh, what would be their growth strategy and so on so this is a major difference between the launch track and the growth track uh, as i mentioned we those founders who got selected they will get lifetime support in the form of uh, founder lab as well as uh, uh, lifetime support uh, from the fi ecosystem as well as a 3 to 6 months program uh, by run by fi hq in the form of founder lab and uh, uh one thing uh, we would like to tell you before i conclude uh, like we are here to help but the founder institute is hard so usually uh, we have seen if people on like they are 20 25 or 30 30 to 35 startup on board in one a cohort in the beginning but at the end usually 18 20 22 startups graduated so we have a uh or probably in sometimes less than that so we have a drop out ratio around 30 to 40 percent but it depends on the quality of entrepreneurs because some say that we don't have much time in the beginning they commit okay we can give you 14 weeks and committed for all the engagement the program started and then are going through your weekly deliverables and quarterly uh, monthly deliverables uh, it's very important to meet the deadlines and for that founder institute is very strict so uh, we try to uh, share uh, be honest with you and try to share brutal feedback uh, instead of only giving you are doing great you are doing a good job we always believe it's important to help entrepreneurs to provide a honest feedback at, as soon as possible and that's why uh, we have a, a higher drop out rate uh, like in the in, at the initial uh, weeks so usually application fee is 10 dollars uh, it's application fee but uh, uh, if you apply uh, as we have already missed uh, the deadline but uh, the course fee is as low as we used to have it last year uh, in, in the previous court as well due to covid so it's 249 dollars 249 dollars and uh, that's it from my side uh, in the end the founders will help push you further faster to get to get uh, to traction and funding so this is it from our side uh, if you have any queries uh, i'm here and you can also ask question at the end of our session uh, i'm handing over to iram or aswar if they are here so they can moderate the session and welcome other <coughs> yes thank you Yes, so I come everyone. Uh, uh, this is Iram here. I'm one of the co-directors at the Karachi uh, chapter. And uh, I, I once again welcome you all to the session. Um, uh, I think the brief about FI was quite extensive given by Basit. Thank you very much, Basit, for this uh, whole detailed briefing about this uh, FI. Um, if you have any questions uh, uh from regarding the fi program 
uh, you can ask now. And if you have questions, like I see one question uh, posted in the Q&A, uh, I think we would prefer to take all the questions towards the end. Uh, but if uh, you want the reply quick, then I can just give you a quick reply. Otherwise, uh, we would prefer to keep the Q&A at the end. You know, so uh, if there are any questions regarding the uh, FI program, then anyone can ask. Basit and Umar and Asfar and myself, we are here to answer. Else we'll move on you know, with the speakers. Hiram Ji, I think uh, let's, uh, let's move on with the speakers, please. Okay. We can do okay. a Q&A at the end. Okay. So um, we have uh, Ayaz here and we have Ahmed Ayub here. So welcome Ahmed Saab and Mr. Ayaz over here as our mentors. So whom should I invite first? I think Ayaz was here first. So Ayaz? Let's have your talk first. And uh, since we have we are at seven o'clock now, and we have one and a half hour, that is eight thirty, and we have two speakers. So I guess twenty minutes per speaker would be good enough. I hope so. <laughs> uh, I think that may just be more than enough. Um... Okay. So I I ask uh, introduction. I think I ask khud de denge. But just a brief that he, mashallah, runs a global business uh, having branches in USA and I guess in two other countries as well. Details, Ayaz Khud batayenge ke unka business kya karta. He is a, a software company. So over to you, Ayaz. And by the way, uh, Ayaz is also one of our star graduate from the previous FI cohort. So <laughs> over to you, Ayaz. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Ms. Aram. Uh, Salam alaikum to everyone, um, all the directors. Ahmed Bhai, nice to see you again. Um, it's been a pleasure being part of uh, FI for however many months I have been. So it's always a pleasure to come back and uh, share our experience. So I'll start with uh, a quick introduction. Uh, my name is Sheikh Ayaz. Um, I am one of the partners and chief operating officer here at Cooperative Computing. Um, we founded the company back in 2013, and we are a custom software development slash digital transformation company. Uh, we help businesses with bespoke application development, web, mobile, cloud, computing, you know, all of the good things. Uh, we've had the opportunity to work with uh, many prestigious brands across the globe. Um, and we still are working with uh, many good companies. So, um, you know, we, we are, you know, four founders. Um, one of them is David, who is based in US and Two of us, Vakas and I are in Pakistan and one of our partner is in Dubai. Uh, and those are the three places where we have our offices as well. So um, I think the journey, uh, a quick just recap on the journey. Uh, when I graduated uh, from uh, Bahiria with my MBA and IS majors, um, we, I was, I was you know, fortunate enough to uh, study the information systems during my uh, degree and then have the internship in one of the software houses to understand how the industry works uh, because uh, I was really not getting into you know marketing finance and all the other things so it was good to get that first hand experience then um, right during the studies we started doing some freelance work um, and then I went to my dad asking for some money so we can set up a company. Uh, and then at that uh, point, I think my dad gave my, me one of the best suggestions that I would give to uh, all of the people who asked for it is we needed more experience. We needed to understand how, so we knew how to sell and do the work, but a company is not just selling and doing the work. There's, there's a lot more components to it. There's 
how to hire find people you know the finance management the legal side and the marketing and this and that so i think that's what drove me to my first job uh, which was a company where i was the sixth person in two years the company grew to about uh, i don't know it was 60 people or 80 people when i left that uh, and then that whole journey kind of gave us that first hand experience on how a company functions and how you treat all the different other areas rather than just selling and doing the work so after that you know uh, we got to uh, meet david one of our uh, partners and then you know we started the company with uh, four or five people uh, and today uh, mashallah we have almost about 170 people on the team uh, from us dubai and pakistan office combined most of them are still in pakistan but then we have other team members uh, across other parts of the world as well so um, i think that's a just a quick journey my uh, connection with fi last year was for another startup uh, called ghost park and it was a different uh, you know a sort of a marketing platform slash deals discount platform for the pakistani market um, and we went off really well on that. Unfortunately, with COVID, uh, we had to rethink a lot of things. Uh, but it's still alive, still going. Um, I think we, after all this exercise, or should I say this gruesome exercise that FI takes you through, uh, we were able to, uh, you know, finally meet some investors, talk to them about our idea and all of that. Um, and I think one of the key learnings I've had from this process is, uh, and I, I saw one of the questions that was part of that as well, uh, but the one of the main things is when you're talking to investors, because what we also saw uh, back in the days when uh, we were also you know trying to join FI to go through this whole process, was most of the people are doing this because they want to raise funding at the end go to investors and talk to them. So one of the key things is the investors would want you to be 100% all in with your venture. And then they will show you the confidence. And then two, of course, you need to understand how the core business functions work. work. You need to have a great leadership team. You need to have the ability to create more leaders in the company. Uh, your books are clean, you know, your operational processes are documented and you're maturing them as you're growing. So there are a lot of things they're looking at, but I think the first and foremost thing where we kind of uh, were not successful in raising funds so far is we have this other business, you know, that we're still involved with. And then we were trying to do another business and raising funding for that. So it may get challenging. I mean, some people do get lucky but uh, it may get challenging at some point in time. Uh, so I think one of the key things, uh, now coming to you know, the topic that we are uh, here discuss, to, to discuss, uh, one of the key things is A, um, you have to be 100% dedicated to your business. Um, I know, you know, leaving a job and that financial security and all of that is a big uh, thing to leave behind. But, and, you know, ek, ek hamare hota hai ke, yaar, business chal padega na, main job dunga. But the point is, it's not going to grow until you're all in, 100%, depending on this. You live, eat, breathe, think business your friends are associated because of your business. I mean, your whole, as I always say, business is not a career choice, it's a lifestyle. So you have to really get there to in the fight, in the battle. Um, a, a, you know, one other example of this point.
I think we okay. just got disconnected. Yes. Um, so I think yeah. I was in my train of thoughts and I didn't realize <laughs> the call is not connected. Okay, Anyhow, so, yeah, I, th I think the, um, the, the, the final comment, I don't know how much you, you guys heard, but I was just trying to conclude on the first point that you have to be 100% focused to get any result. You want to build a local business or a global business or raise funds or do whatever, but you have to be 100% committed. And then two, uh, you, you need to have a strong leadership team. Um, I think that some people underrate it because they want complete control or some people just say, I cannot work with having more than one founder. Uh, but I think for us, it has been a blessing. Uh, and most of the startups that we're seeing, uh, you know, raising all the funds and getting successful and this and that, uh, most of them have a very strong leadership team. Um, and they work together because they cancel out each other's problem areas and complement them and make everyone successful. So find yourself, if you're a marketing person, or a salesperson, or you're a techie, or a finance person, and you have this great idea, but and, and you want to go do this, then I think you need to find the your co-founders that can provide the rest of the knowledge to the business. So if you're a techie, then maybe you don't like your you know, the finance side of it, or the sales or marketing side of it, or you don't have the branding eye and so on and so forth. So have your co-founding team uh, with you. I mean, many people have done it successfully alone, but uh, again, I'm just sharing my experience that my other co-founders and we, you know, when, when we sit together in the room, <coughs> I think there's a lot of value that gets added by each of the member uh, by canceling out the weaknesses of each other and, you know, combining our strengths. Um, so that's two. And then I think one of the other things I wanted to share was you have to think big. Um, so, you know, an example could be if you're, you're just starting off, your first target should be to get to your first million dollars. How do you get to your first million dollars? And you might just be selling 100,000 rupees for the first month, but your target should be how do I get to my first million? Then how do I get to my 10 million? Then how do I get to my 100 million? And the problem with that is if you don't have that dream or that goal, then it's very difficult to align your activities or measure yourself how you're doing it. Um, you can keep on doing it, but if you're not measuring yourself, if there's no number to it, it's very difficult to stay motivated, stay connected, although it, because it's a very stressful lifestyle to or run a business, then you have to make sure that you're measuring your progress. So once you get closer to that goal, it, it excites you more. You can wake up from your bed, you know, get to the office and get killing. So that's that. And then I think the final thing um, that we are also going through now is a very interesting concept called uh, EOS. And the reason I would bring this up as, as my last point is uh, we're now, you know, nine years in or eight years in uh, 160, 170 people. So looking at it from the outside, you know, it's, it's all shiny and it's all glowy, but when you get the inside, then with all this many people and multiple office locations and geographic disbursement of people, the process of how we do our daily work is very important. And recently we, um, we started this journey like about you know, earlier this year to start you know, really thinking through how we optimize our processes, how we define our goals, you know, how do we define the objectives that get us there? And then how do we talk about the issues together as a team and resolve them so we can make progress every day? Um, so 
there's a book called Traction. Uh, maybe some of them has read it, some of them hasn't. So please do read Traction, do understand the EOS uh, framework. For founders, it is, you know, it, you know, people may think that it is for bigger companies because it requires a lot of factors. But I think for founders to have that conceptually in mind is very helpful because it starts off by letting you dream big and then define how you get there and define how many people you need to get there. Maybe fundraising is one of your you know, goals for the first year or the second year. So whatever that is, do read that, do learn about this process. It's a complete framework to help you organize yourselves and processes. So you can not only start at a better foot, but also keep on growing without any scaling problems. So <clears throat> I think that's what I could think of to uh, give everyone from my experience so far, if there are any specific other questions, I would love to answer. Mesaram, over to you. Get a moment, Basudai. Uh, sorry, I was typing the answer. Uh, thank you very much, Ayaz. Uh, it was uh, really, really a very good talk. And I'm sure the participants would have also benefited. And uh, I'm sure they must be having too many questions, but we will keep the questions towards the end. So next, I would like to invite Mr. Ahmed Ayub, our next speaker. And uh, Ahmed, Mr. Ahmed Ayub, uh, I'm, I'm sure everyone must be knowing him that he is one of the co-founders of Airlift and Airlift ko kaun nahi janta and recently, especially after the huge, huge investment that they have received. So everyone would love to hear from Airlift members. So over to you, Mr. Ahmed Ayub. I guess Mr. Ayub is uh, away because he's not on the screen. Uh, uh, I would request any of the uh, Asfar or Basit, can anyone please call him and see if he's back? Oh, okay, he's back. Assalamualaikum, Ahmad Sab. Uh, excuse me, sorry, very sorry. There are nee, nee, some, okay. uh, some problems in the infrastructure here. So, so, nee, nee. so nee. thank that. you very much. We understand that uh, your company is stage pe hai, to taking time out of things is very difficult. And we uh, appreciate <coughs> that you time here uh, FI ke liye. So, nee, the participants nee. are eager to listen nee, to you. Actually, for the participants as well. Uh, uh, when I commit, I should be there. So I'm really sorry for thank that. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Iram. Uh, the uh, aap ki discussion miss kar di. uh, Thank you, Umar, uh, Basit, and as well. Um, so guys, uh, um, uh, ki journey kafi, kafi, kafi and strong. And we are very new in this uh, in this space. And we are still learning a lot. The discussion uh, is that um, in this environment, in Karachi, in Pakistan, mein rehte ve, uh, how do you set up companies? How do you actually uh, build startups? And what are the issues? What are the challenges? Um, there, so there are there are some learnings that have been in the last few years. Uh, there have been uh, one thing that I learned. Uh, I worked in in uh, so so. Uh, just to give you an introduction, I'm I'm a graduate of FAST. I graduated in 1998, and I worked in software development for a good 10 years. Uh, and then I moved into project management and general management. There are a couple of companies that you must have known. Systems Limited was my first job, and I I worked. Uh, with Folio 3 for six, six, seven years, and two years I was heading 10 worlds. My learning of working with services companies and moving 
to startups was this uh, immense movement from uh, from from slow to fast lane fast startups are considered to be very very fast and um, and and fast doesn't only mean fast in software development but it means the fast in decision making so hamari pichle door da teen saal ki learning ye hai ki hum hum bahut tezi se decision karte hain hum bahut tezi se development karte hain aur hum bahut tezi se customer tak pahunchte hain so anybody who is willing to work on a startup um, just just remember this aur ye aapko kahi kahi jagah mil bhi jayegi i think one of the founders at linkedin said this ke if you are not embarrassed of your first mvp you are already late so maksad kya hai kehne ka ke don't start over engineering your product kyunki aapka product jitni jaldi market tak pahunchega utni jaldi aapko response milega so um, aur uske liye aapko aise engineers chahiye jo ke fast paced so we were lucky to have people early on in our team jo uh, jo bahut tez move kar sakte the so and it was it was early days we didn't have a lot of money so 2019 mein jab humne isko launch kiya to hamare paas 3 se 4 hafte ka time tha to build our first app and give it to the market and the day we launched our uh, so it was a bus service back then uh the day we launched our driver app didn't work and uh, uh our our co-founder osman he s- sat in the in the bus with the driver and he guided the the bus to different different stops but that didn't stop us from launching we still launched but in two to three days we fixed those bugs and the driver app was working and in the first few months we were pushing new builds every day so what am i telling here hum relentlessly jab kaam karte hain to aap bahut tezi se wo changes leke aate hain jo aapke customers ko chahiye so pehla step kisi bhi product ko banane ke liye shayad ye hai ki hum understand kare ki market kya hai kya market hai ya nahi um hamari jo bus service thi uske liye humne kuch surveys kiye the lahor mein ki log usko use karenge ya nahi use karenge wagaira and then once you figured out ke इस तरह की मार्केट में जाना है देन यू डोंट टेक मंथ्स टू बिल्ड योर प्रोडक्ट यू टेक वीक्स हफ्तों में प्रोडक्ट बनाए और लॉन्च कर दें जब हमने बस सर्विस लॉन्च की उस वक्त से लेकर 2019 से अब तक इफ नॉट 20 ट्वेंटी 25 मे बी थर्टी पीपल एक्चुअली कम टू मी एंड सर क्या हमने भी बिल्कुल ऐसा ही आइडिया सोचा था लेकिन बस उसमें ये हो गया वो हो गया वो हो गया और कई आइडियाज शायद हमसे बेहतर हों कई ऐसे लोग होंगे जो हमसे बहुत इंटेलिजेंट होंगे लेकिन उन्होंने लॉन्च नहीं किया और हमने लॉन्च कर दिया सो सबसे इम्पोर्टेंट चीज ये है कि यू हैव टू बी एबल टू अप्लाई योर प्रोडक्ट इन टू द मार्केट एक दफ़ा वो मार्केट में पहुंच जाएगी तो उसका फीडबैक आना शुरू होगा कि वो लोगों को सूट करती है या नहीं करती लिसन टू पीपल एंड चेंज द एप दिस इज वॉट वी डेट फॉर द लॉन्गेस्ट टाइम एट एयर लिफ्ट वी टॉक टू कस्टमर्स वी गॉट देर फीडबैक वी चेंज द एप कई दफ़ा हमने हर हफ्ते में एक चार चार पाँच पाँच दफ़ा अपडेट्स भेजी हैं कस्टमर्स को और और मेरा आइडिया ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट कम्प्लीटली चेंज हमने प्रोसेस वगैरह को बिल्कुल साइड में रखा हमने आर्किटेक्चर की डिटेल्स को और कोडिंग कन्वेंशन को बिल्कुल इग्नोर किया सॉफ्टवेयर का आर्किटेक्चर वो होता है जो आज चलता है you don't have to create an architecture to hold 5 million users when you have you when you only have 5 users jab panch logon ki app hai to panch logon ka architecture hai jab 10 honge to usko update kare and it will be an ongoing process so uber and others they have rewritten their code multiples of times and so so as uh, as us ki humne apne code ko bahut refactor kiya aur usko hum और उसको हम किस तरह से डिफाइन करते हैं आप एक ट्रेड करें बार बार ट्रेड करें सो so, दूसरी चीज क्या है सो so, ये तो होगी सॉफ्टवेयर वाली साइड मूव फास्ट चेंज फास्ट डिप्लॉय फास्ट एंड कीप रिपीटिंग दूसरी चीज है कि 
ये जो हम बात करते हैं ना कि पाकिस्तान की इन्वायरमेंट में और ये कैसे होगा और इस तरह की टीम कैसे बनेगी देर विल बी पीपल टेल यू कि ये नहीं हो जितने भी आप लोग हैं जो पार्टिसिपेंट्स हैं जो इस डिस्कशन का हिस्सा बनना चाहते हैं ठीक है आप आप क्लियरली इस चीज़ को समझ लें कि आपको हर एक डिस्करेज करेगा जब आप सर्विसेज कंपनी में जॉब कर रहे होते हैं तो आपकी जॉब में स्टेबिलिटी होती है जब आप स्टार्टअप में आते हैं तो वो स्टेबिलिटी हिल जाती है जब आप एक सर्विसेज कंपनी स्टार्टअप में मूव कर रहे होंगे आप किसी दोस्त से पूछ रहे हो तो क्या क्या ये बंद हो जाएगी जब आप अपना स्टार्टअप खोल रहे होंगे और आप अपनी जॉब छोड़ रहे होंगे सब आपसे कहेंगे कि यार ये मत करो वो करो इसमें यानी कि हर तरह से आपको लोग निगेट करते हैं वो क्यों निगेट करते हैं क्योंकि वो आपकी तरह के नहीं वो रिस्क लेना ही नहीं चाहते वो चांस ले, लेते ही नहीं वो तमाम लोग जो किसी किस्म का रिस्क नहीं लेना चाहते अपनी लाइफ से ठीक है या वो किसी किस्म की अचीवमेंट नहीं पहुंचना चाहते वो आपको भी डिस्करेज करते हैं कि फलाना चीज़ नहीं हो सकती सो आई एम नॉट से जस्ट डोंट लिसन टू दैम ठीक है बट डोंट लिसन टू एनी बडी हु आप एक सर्टन चीज़ नहीं कर सकते क्योंकि आप वो सब चीज़ें कर सकते बस ये एक है उसमें मेहनत ज्यादा लगती है उसमें जान ज्यादा लगी और देर इज अई चांस कि आपका स्टार्टअप ना चल पाए ठीक है बट देर इज ऑल्सो कहते हैं ना कि एक चीज को ट्राई ना करने का कितने परसेंट चांस है कि आप फेल हो हंड्रेड परसेंट मतलब हंड्रेड परसेंट है ना कि आप आपने एक चीज ट्राई नहीं की तो होगी नहीं हंड्रेड परसेंट है अटेम्प्ट करने में फिफ्टी परसेंट चांस तो है कि आप पास हो सकते हैं टेन परसेंट तो है फाइव परसेंट तो है so you need to make sure that your mindset is there to actually resolve it so elf ne pehle buses chalaye jab main buses ki baat karta tha buses chalane ki baat karta tha kisi se bhi uh, mere colleagues se aap kisi se puche to hame har ek ye kehta tha to mafia hai isme to fulane log hain isme to fulane log hain to main dhamkiyan milengi ye hoga wo hoga uh, government aur sab aur har tarah ki aur aur aisa nahi ki aisa nahi ho मतलब हमारे साथ मिस एप्स भी हुए गवर्नमेंट ने भी हमारी बसेस बंद की सब कुछ है लेकिन हम बिल्कुल फोकस थे कि हमें ये काम करना है और हमें ये चलाना है इतने लोग हमें फैमिली एंड फ्रेंड्स एंड एवरीबडी दे वुड स्टॉप अस कि यार इसमें से निकल जाओ खतरा है जान को खतरा है धमकियाँ मिलेंगी ठीक है बट वी कैप्ट रनिंग अलहमदिल्ला एक साल में हम बारह से पंद्रह गाड़ियों तक पहुँच गए थे हमारी तकरीबन चालीस डेली की बुकिंग्स थी ठीक जिस वक्त कोविड आया so 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 that was the next step so, so, so pehli cheez, build fast build fast and deploy fast ek cheez, dusra, relentless ho jay, rukna chhod de, logon ki baaton ko sunna chhod de, hai? jo log chota sochte hain wo aapko chota sochne pe majboor karenge unki baat nahi sunne theek hai if you are up there to actually build something big then you will some build something big ठीक है एटलीस्ट आपने एक अटेम्प्ट की होगी तो आ, वो बहुत तीसरी चीज क्या है कि आपके पास रोड ब्लॉक्स है कुछ रोड ब्लॉक्स हैं सिंध गवर्नमेंट ने आपकी गाड़ियाँ बंद कर दी ठीक है रोड ब्लॉक है तो आपने अखबार वगैरह मीडिया का सहारा लिया सब कुछ किया सोशल मीडिया का और आप अपनी गाड़ियाँ खुलवा दी देर आर बिगर रोड ब्लॉक्स कोविड की तरह के रोड ब्लॉक्स बसेज एयर कंडीशन बसेज इज अ बिग नो नो इन पैटर्न हमें वो बंद करनी पड़ी हमारी मर्जी नहीं थी हमसे आज तक भी लोग पूछते हैं जी बसें क्यों बंद करनी तो बसेज इसलिए बंद करनी क्यों बंद करनी पड़ी हमारे पास कोई चॉइस नहीं थी लेकिन हमारे पास एक सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट टीम थी और उस टीम ने दो महीने के अंदर एक ई कॉमर्स की पूरी ऐप बना के पूरी कर हम बहुत देर बैठ के अपनी बसों पर रोए नहीं कि वो ये हो गया और हमने 12 मिलियन डॉलर रेज किए और तबाह हो गए ऑल दैट ठीक है वी डिसाइडेड वेरी वेरी क्विकली और हमने उतनी ही जान के साथ एक दूसरी प्रोडक्ट बनानी शुरू आप यकीन करें जिस टीम ने एक साल विदाउट एनी ब्रेक मतलब हार्डली मुझे नहीं याद पड़ता होगा सब लोगों ने कुछ दिक्कत तो कुछ छुट्टी ली होगी बट देर वर नो वीकेंड्स हमने सत्रह अठारह घंटे काम करे थे पूरा साल ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन वॉज अस इन डेवलपमेंट उस टीम को आप एक साल बाद कह रहे हैं कि सॉरी यार वो प्रोडक्ट तो चल पाओगी एक नई प्रोडक्ट बनानी है और उतनी ही जान लगनी एंड दैट्स वेयर द स्किल ऑफ द टीम कम्स इन और उस टीम ने दोबारा से उस तरह की एक प्रोडक्ट अप कर दी और एक महीने के अंदर हमारे पास एक बहुत ही फ्लिमजी आर्किटेक्चर के ऊपर एक ई कॉमर्स का स्टोर अप था जिन लोगों को थोड़ी सी टेक्नोलॉजी की समझ है तो हमने वो कॉमर्स के ऊपर 
वो कॉमर्स के ऊपर एयरलिफ्ट लॉन्च की और सो वो कॉमर्स जो है ठीक है उस पर भी साइट चलती हैं जो जो साइट चार हफ्ते में बनी होती है ना वो तो बहुत स्केलेबल नहीं होती लेकिन वी डेंट हेल्प बैक हमारे पास चार बाइक्स थी एक वेयर हाउस था यहाँ लाहौर में गुलाब देवी अस्पताल के साथ एक बहुत छोटे थोड़े बहुत रैक्स थे गुल और महर और ये लोग सब वहाँ पे बैठते थे और हमने लॉन्च कर दी और हमें पहले दिन पहले हफ्ते में शायद छः सात ऑर्डर आए थे जून की बात करूँ मैं एंड ऑफ एंड ऑफ मे और फिर स्टार्ट ऑफ जून एंड देन एंड स्टार्ट स्टार्ट पिकिंग अप इसमें तीसरी लर्निंग क्या सो वी मूव फास्ट अर्लियर ऑन यस देन वी वर रिलेंटलेस ठीक है हम किसी चीज़ से रुके नहीं ना हम रुकना चाहते थे और फिर तीसरी चीज ये थी कि जब बिग डिसीजन आया वेन देर वॉज अ रियल रोड ब्लॉक लाइक कोविड ठीक है तो हमने मूव करते हुए अपनी जो पेविट करते हुए सोचा नहीं बहुत ज़्यादा कि क्या होगा क्यों क्योंकि हमें अगेन तेज मूव करना था हो सकता था बसेस वापस आ जाती लेकिन जब हम ई कॉमर्स में आए तो फिर हम ई कॉमर्स में फुल फ्लैज जंप इन कर दिए और फिर ई कॉमर्स की स्टोरी शुरू हो गई फिर उसकी रिफैक्टरिंग और बहुत तेज़ी से हम हम उस पर एक्सपैंड करना शुरू किया सो एट दैट टाइम हमारे पास बहुत लिमिटेड बजट था हमें एक सर्टन लेवल तक उस बजट को रन करना हमारे पास फंड रेजिंग कोविड के दिनों में फंड रेजिंग वॉज सडनली वो डिसअपेयर हो रही थी और तो उसके बाद हम हम पूरी तरह से ई कॉमर्स में जंप इन करके और हमने ये देखा कि जो क्विक कॉमर्स की मार्केट है वो बहुत तेज़ी से फ्लरिश कर रही है एंड अल्लाह का करना है हम वी वर एट द राइट प्लेस एट द राइट टाइम प्रॉब्ली मतलब जहाँ पे हमें नहीं होना था हम वहाँ थे हम तो बसें चला रहे थे ठीक है तो ई कॉमर्स में आ गए और एंड एंड आफ्टर ईयर ईयर एंड हाफ मतलब इस प्रोडक्ट को ये जो इस वक्त एयरलिफ्ट आप देख रहे हैं ये कोई एक साल और छः महीने पूरे हो गए नॉट छः महीने एक साल पाँच महीने पुरानी सो दिस प्रोडक्ट इज सेवनटीन मंथ्स ओल्ड जिसने हमें एटी फाइव मिलियन डॉलर रेज करके दिए ठीक है नाउ वी हैव फिफ्टी प्लस वेयर हाउसेज एंड एज ऑफ टूडे वी जस्ट लॉन्च जहानसबर्ग लेकिन uh, इस पूरी चीज़ में अगर आप देखें बहुत सारे चैलेंज हैं आपसे बहुत सारे लोग कहेंगे कि पाकिस्तान में टैलेंट नहीं मिलते पाकिस्तान में आप टेक uh, टीम नहीं खड़ी कर सकते पाकिस्तान में आपको फलानी सपोर्ट नहीं मिलती पाकिस्तान में आपको क्लाउड के बंदे नहीं मिलते पाकिस्तान में आपको पेमेंट गेट वेज के इशू हैं पाकिस्तान में आपको एस एम एस के गेट वेज के इशू है ये सब कहानी है देर इज एवरी थिंग अवेलेबल है ठीक है जी यू जस्ट हैव टू फाइंड इट हार्ड इन और सब चीज़ें यहाँ पर मिलती हैं सब चीज़ें यहाँ पर अवेलेबल हैं हमारा प्रॉब्लम यह है कि हमने अपने जहन में ये बिठा दिया है एक एक सॉर्ट ऑफ क्या कहते हैं इम्पोस्टर सिंड्रोम कहेंगे क्या कहेंगे कि वी वी काइंड ऑफ स्टार्ट बिलीविंग हमें चीज लोग बेचते हैं देखें जी अच्छी वाली है ये इम्पोर्टेड है हर इम्पोर्ट चीज अच्छी नहीं होती तो मैं कोशिश करता हूँ कि मैं पाकिस्तानी मैन्युफैक्चर्ड यानी कि पाकिस्तानी असेंबल्ड गाड़ी खरीदू क्यों क्योंकि मैं ये चाहता हूँ कि लोग एयरलिफ्ट यूज करें ठीक है लोग एयरलिफ्ट यूज तब करेंगे जब वो समझेंगे कि एक पाकिस्तानी प्रोडक्ट अच्छी हो सकती है तो जो एक और बंदा पाकिस्तानी प्रोडक्ट बना रहा है मुझे भी तो उसको सपोर्ट करना पड़ेगा तो आप शैम्पू उठा लें परफ्यूम उठा लें कुछ उठा लें आपको टेन परसेंट चीज़ें मेड इन पाकिस्तान में वी हैव टू स्टार्ट यूजिंग दोज तो जब आप एक इन्वायरमेंट क्रिएट करेंगे ऑफ पाकिस्तानी प्रोडक्ट्स देन देर विल बी बेटर पाकिस्तानी प्रोडक्ट्स और अब ये हो रहा है फर्स्ट टाइम इन माई लाइफ इन लास्ट ट्वेंटी ईयर्स पाकिस्तानी सॉफ्टवेयर प्रोडक्ट्स बन रही है बाजार एंड दस्तगीर एंड ब्रिज लिंक्स एंड ट्रक एड एंड सो मैनी अदर्स ठीक है अब आपको हर थोड़े दिन में एक फंडिंग की खबर मिलती है अब आपको देर इज एन इन्वेस्टर कॉन्फिडेंस कमिंग इन टूवर्ड्स पाकिस्तान सो इफ एयर लिफ्ट और समबडी एल्स मेक्स बिग इट इज एक्चुअली अ रिफ्लेक्शन ऑन पाकिस्तान एंड दैट विल बी अ ट्रू सक्सेस फॉर एयर लिफ्ट मतलब आप कितने दस बिलियन डॉलर बना क्या कर लेंगे आप उन पैसों का सो यू हैव टू सी इसका बिगर इम्पैक्ट है इसका बिगर इम्पैक्ट पाकिस्तान तो सो सो मेरे का टॉपिक क्रिएटिंग अ कंपनी इन पाकिस्तान इज एज गुड एज क्रिएटिंग अ कंपनी एल्स पे हमें अपने माइंड सेट को निकालना है मैं ये नहीं कह रहा कि प्रॉब्लम सेट नहीं गवर्नमेंट लेवल पे पॉलिसी लेवल पे हैं रोड ब्लॉक्स 
hiccups hain sab kuch lekin aisa nahi hai ki wo resolvable nahi so but you have to be determined to actually do that theek hai ab back out karne wale bande honge na to ab back out kar denge lekin ab kar guzarne wale honge to ab kar denge aur main is liye kaise keh pa raha hu ki humne do completely different products do do saalon mein banayi aur scale ki bus system ka e-commerce se koi taluq nahi theek hai अगर हम बस सिस्टम बना सकते हैं अगेंस्ट ऑल ऑर्ड एंड अगेंस्ट द गवर्नमेंट एंड लाहौर ट्रांसपोर्ट कॉर्पोरेशन एंड सिंध गवर्नमेंट एंड ऑल दैट ठीक है और फिर हम साथ में ई कॉमर्स शुरू कर सकते हैं ड्यूरिंग कोविड और हम यहाँ तक पहुँच सकते हैं तो मैं तो बहुत मीडियोकर आई का आदमी हूँ अगर मैं ये कर सकता हूँ मैं यहाँ पे पहुँच सकता हूँ तो आप में से बहुत सारे लोग मुझसे बहुत अच्छा कर सकते हैं आई डोंट नो आई डोंट थिंक देर इज अट ऑफ साइंस बिहाइंड टू बी फास्ट एंड यू हैव टू बी रिलेंटलेस कि आपको बस ये करना है ठीक है आप बैकआउट होंगे तो फिर आप बैकआउट कर अभी हम जहाँ पे हैं वहाँ पे हैं इट्स पीपल से के वो एयरलिफ्ट की सक्सेस स्टोरी आई डोंट थिंक आसिफ जाफरी साहब के पास है सक्सेस स्टोरीज या साहब के पास है हम वी आर इन इन प्रोसेस ऑफ मेकिंग समथिंग और अल्लाह करें हम उसको फॉर्म कर सकें लेकिन वी आर लर्निंग एंड होपफुली होपफुली वन डे I'll have this session with you with pride. Yeah, yeah, real life is a success story. But abhi, abhi, picture abhi baaki hai. Over to you, Ira. Thank you uh, very much, Ahmed Ayub Sab. Uh, it was a pleasure listening to you, and बहुत मजे के आपकी talk होती है हमेशा, and very inspiring, mashallah as well. So thank you very much, and. Uh, <coughs> uh asif jafri saab is here and uh, i would uh, like to uh, before i invite asif jafri saab uh, i would like to say this to the participants that i am sure aap sabke paas bahut sare questions jama hue honge but you can uh, type the questions in the chat so that at the end we can take the questions or you can just write them down with you and at the end inshallah we'll take all the questions and all the three speakers will be replying So uh, next, I would like to invite Mr. Asif Jafri. Uh, Assalamualaikum, Asif Sab. One sum, Aram. Can you hear me? Glad to uh, see you here, and Aram? thank you very much for joining. And uh, but Aram, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, great. आपको मेरी आवाज नहीं आ रही? तो सामने का जी आ रही है, बिल्कुल आ रही है. I just so want to make sure that you can hear me. acha okay so uh, without any further delay i hand over to you over to you and then at the end we will have uh, the q and a so aap apne pehle introduction de de because mere paas ek bahut acha introduction hota hai aapka koi ye kar de aap to mujhe mere mujhe thoda sa help ho jayega nahi wo 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 sab log usko bahut mashhoor hai aap us cheez mein कि जब हम फोन कॉल करते हैं और पीछे से वो जो मैसेज आता है दैट इज योर कंपनी सो जी 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 दैट्स रियली फनी बिकॉज़ आजकल जो मैसेज चल रहा है उस पर मेरा कोई हाथ नहीं है बट आई एम वेरी ग्लैड कि गवर्नमेंट इज यूजिंग नाउ एज अ पब्लिक अवेयरनेस टूल जो कि बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट मैसेजेस हैं वो गवर्नमेंट जो है वो तमाम पाकिस्तानी से लेके जा रही है मोबाइल फोन के जरिए आई थिंक दिस वाज नॉट समथिंग दैट वी कॉपीड वी थॉट ऑफ यू नो ड्यूरिंग कोविड टाइम that government uh, might not be able to communicate this message and if there is no national message that is being shared from a government to people then regarding covid what the, different different messages jo communicate honge people will say it's fake thing it's wo uske bawajood hua but nevertheless ek bahut massive scale pe kuch about 120 million logon ne wo jo message tha covid ka jo humne chalaya tha and it was an idea we just thought out when the covid hit in pakistan and uh, we said uh, yeah there there so we are from telecom space and there's something that we need to do uh, so one thing the capability that we have is you know reaching out to 184 million people in pakistan using cell phone right sms ke upar voice ke upar um, but having a very good understanding of the telecom infrastructure and what we knew that you know something there are many things that telecoms are not using and government is not using so we drive that idea uh, of the unutilized resources in the country over telecom ki jo ring back phone wali cheez thi 
और उसको बेसिकली पीटीए चेयरमैन को मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हेल्थ को और वो जो सबसे पहली जो रिंग टोन चली थी एक्चुअली वो दैट वाज अ टेस्ट रिंग टोन वो हमने सिर्फ मैं हमारे ऑफिस में एक पहले ओल्ड कोलीग थी उससे रिकॉर्ड करवाया और वो हमने जो है वो मिनिस्ट्रीज को और अथॉरिटीज को हमने भेजा तो पता चला कि वही वाली रोल आउट हो गई तो तो उसके ऊपर कुछ बैशिंग वगैरह भी हुई थी बट नेवर द लेस आई थिंक uh what we suggested government that you know throughout the time uh from you know jaise se covid ki situation change ho rahi hai pakistan mein ye message bhi change karte rahe because bada monotonous ho jata hai and you know a time comes when people start getting fed up uh so uh, government heard us and uh, implemented those strategies uh which ministry of health then eventually you know completely took over and now they are running their own things so alhamdulillah you know allah is extremely kind के पाकिस्तान के ऊपर कोविड के वो वाले सिचुएशंस नहीं आई जो कि ईरान में दिल्ली में और दूसरी जगहों पे आई थी सो अलहमदिल्ला नाउ वी आर ओपनिंग यू नो स्कूल्स आर कम्प्लीटली ओपन नाउ सो अल्लाह इज एक्सट्रीमली काइंड एंड वी शुड ऑल बी वेरी दुनिया के ये जिस सिचुएशन में जो पूरी दुनिया एक वर्ष सिचुएशन से गिर गई है तो हम उसमें उतना इफेक्ट नहीं हुआ जितने बाकी मतलब आप नेबरिंग कंट्री की भी देखेंगे तो बहुत ज़्यादा सिचुएशन खराब थी तो दैट वॉज अ थिंग सो you know thank you very much for reminding uh, but uh, yeah. um, you know these are the these... to, uh, one one more thing i would like to say about you uh, to the participants ke asif jafri is also one of the fi first cohort ke graduate so he is a very good example aap dekh sakte hain a very inspiring story he has and how successful mashallah he is now so back over over to you back asif sir ji uh, so a little background about myself so i was a corporate banker uh, i did my bba honors and mba from uh, cbm uh, is a karachi main institute of business management i i graduated from there in 2006 um did my majors in uh, finance i then worked for uh, companies like partly be holding companies so maine uh, uh, stock exchange mein pehle investments karta tha company ke behalf then i moved to corporate bank think in american express bank from there i moved to union bank um, and then i moved to uh, I, i was like you know banking banking i i wanted to become a bank bank ceo by the age of 35 i was very ambitious but uh, wo maine quran mein sood wali cheez padhi to i left banking and uh, i joined unilever in sales department uh, in 2005 and then i worked two two years there and i joined telnor pakistan i was part of their launch team in pakistan so again you know uh, i was working with telnor and i saw huge opportunity um, that uh, you know sim cards in pakistan are being distributed like anything you know every month we were selling thousands and thousands and you know uh, so today we have like 134 184 million subscribers back then it was near about 25 30 million subscribers overall in pakistan and that and back then there were only jazz and u phone so um, i took that opportunity i left telnor as an employee and i started i took their franchise and distribution which was a very calculated risk uh, leaving job and then taking a you know going into a business with the firm that was growing so but then after a couple of years i realized that uh, you know uh, we are just selling sims and there they there will be a requirement of a company uh, that will provide communication services for these subscribers so this is how e ocean private limited company came in which is pakistan's largest messaging and voice aggregator at this point in time and uh, we bootstrap this platform um, um, it's a investor free uh, debt free company and mashallah now we are growing we recently expanded into spain uh, we are opening uh, starting our operations in saudi and my few team members are in dubai at this point in time and they are you know signing different deals uh, you know in different Uh, middle east and north african region so all is extremely kind uh, um, something that uh, we built and we never thought that it would grow to this extent um, but uh, um, so you know uh, but we believe that from day one that telecom is growing and communication will keep on growing obviously you know different uh, stages will come different interactions you know interactions will come Uh, so we started only with sms but today we do voice we do so one of the services that we do if you use kareem uh, so when you call the captain and you don't want to share your number so uh, that's an anonymous calling uh, that we do so we 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 do that and now we were we are the first pakistani company that become official whatsapp business solution provider 
Uh, so WhatsApp, Facebook selected us, and then they opened it uh, for other players as well. Um, so uh, you know, our journey has been uh, extremely, extremely, uh, you know, mix of difficult times, good times, and now you know when teams are now settled down in terms of like we have developed the playbook, uh, we are expanding into different markets. Uh, so uh, Iram also mentioned that I was part of the first cohort of Founder Institute, um, and that was. Uh, six years back. I graduated in 2015 and I was the only graduate who was given a scholarship in Silicon Valley. Uh, so I flew out from Pakistan, went to Silicon Valley, um, had a chance to interact with a lot of people there. Founder Institute took me to um, all the companies, LinkedIn, Facebook, Google, um, took, took us to you know other big companies of the Valley that of services we use every day. Uh, so it was very inspiring and then allowed me or basically gave us training on how to raise funding and all that. Uh, so I came back uh, in 2015 and uh, I realized that in Pakistan, um, you know, the kind of ecosystem that Silicon Valley has, Pakistan doesn't have it. And in 2017, we started doing momentum. And that was simply uh, uh, kind of a give back to society. And that, you know, in Pakistan, we built Youth and Private Limited, and uh, it was a very tough journey for us. As I said earlier, that uh, investor-free company, a debt-free company. Uh, so you could imagine that bootstrap, karna jo hai, like, uh, challenge or grow, karna or sari cheezo ko system, system ko leke chalna. So, uh, so momentum, I don't know if you guys are aware. Uh, we do, we've been doing this event since 2017. Last event we did in Karachi uh, in 2019. But due to COVID, we did not do it since the uh, last couple of years. Um, but a lot of people now reaching us out again and saying that the COVID is going so let's plan. In fact, uh, the path launch guys, you know, Joby, which is an event, they've also reached us out and saying that, you know, how we can collaborate and uh, do the mass scale uh, events as well as, you know, investor conference in Pakistan. Um, so coming back to my journey of Founder Institute, uh, uh, I... Um, I actually designed a product uh, for anti-theft service, anti-mobile theft service. So I innovated that product. I went to Valley. I came back. I implemented that in Pakistan with the largest telecom operator, JAS. But then PTA, telecom regulator, did not allow me. Hello? Gigi, we can hear you. Iram, can you guys hear me? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. Okay, I, I all came in between, so uh, I, I got disrupted. Yeah, no, so uh, I, I, I came back, you know, PTA asked me to, you know, delay the project because they were implementing the duty implementation of the tax. So that system was implemented. Um, but I was very focused in terms of like the problem that I wanted to solve for Pakistan is yes, I'm sub Karachi I uh, Karachi mein phone snatching both uh, the hoti the kid is solo mate. So I took responsibility yaar, uh, being part of a telecom sector, this is a problem that our that a society has and somebody needs to solve it. So why not I? So you know but long story short, from that time till today I've been trying to solve that problem. And now we are at a point, we are at a point where we are launching a service. So it so building a company, building a meaningful company is something sometimes takes a lot of time. Uh, but good thing for me was that my other platform was going eOcean Private Limited, which I mentioned earlier. So um, that you know kept my kitchen going. But I did not give up on the idea that you know Pakistan needs uh, better security of the mobile phones. Uh, but now that idea has pivoted from mobile anti-mobile theft service to a full-fledged smartphone financing platform. And that's that what we're calling now KISPAY, K-I-S-T-P-A-Y. Uh, so we are um, starting a smartphone financing um, inshallah Allah, in the next two months time. And uh, probably, and inshallah Allah, this will be, uh, you know, fastest uh, Sharia compliant smartphone financing in Pakistan where we will not require any debit card, any credit card. We will do the credit decision within five minutes, um, which obviously, you know, 
uh, compared to any financial institution in Pakistan, they do not take any financial decision uh, even within a week. So forget about a day. So we are trying. We are trying to do that within five minutes. We have developed a technology that can control the device. If you don't pay us the payment, we can control the device. We can block the device. So the primary target that we target market that we're going after is the bottom of the pyramid. People who do not have smartphones. So half of a country is still offline at this point in time. You know. Uh, so PTS says that we have about 183 million subscribers, but to the best of my understanding, we have about 120 million unique subscribers. And out of that 60, 65 million have people have smartphones, 60 million, about 55 to 60 million people do not have. So that means half of the adult population are not online. So recently the funding rounds and all the success stories of you know recent tech startups in Pakistan are purely based on the and said smartphone penetration in the country. Um, if there were no smartphone in the country, you can imagine Kareem would not be working here, Food Panda might, would have not been working here, Baikia would have not been here, um, Airlift, Emma gave a wonderful presentation and very inspiring. Um, um, uh, uh, probably, uh, so this is all happening on the foundation of smartphones. So imagine if we can bring another 60 million people online and we truly make Pakistan a digital Pakistan, then you know it could be a different country altogether. We have so much potential, um, and uh, I so I was in uh, ITW International Telecom Week uh, last month in Washington D.C., and over there the conversation was uh, over there basically a lot of telecom operators and satellite operators come together and discuss what are the opportunities and what are the challenges, and they and then they collaborate. So, वहाँ पे एक term used होती है neo के नाम से, जो कि near Earth orbit के लिए कहा use की जाती है near Earth orbit. इसके अंदर satellite जो है वो move कर रही होती है, और Elon Musk की एक company Starlink जिसके जरिए वो basically अपने satellite से पूरे दुनिया में basically हर जगह पे जो है वो internet coverage उन्होंने possible कर दिया है. And he said that you know uh, for him the distribution to any part of the world is just the same because they're coming from the top and uh, you know they're changing the paradigm so i was like you know these people sitting in us washington dc they're talking about you know near earth orbit what's what are the what are the regulations going to be how these guys are going to operate and in pakistan half of half of the people are not even online so what to talk about these intersections and all that but that gave me hope actually and they said you know if these things are happening now so basically, all Pakistanis can connect to the internet, and if we can provide them devices on installment, so they can actually, you know, have the same level of connectivity, same level of access, and what kind of a world that would be. So, if you want to change Pakistan, I think we need to enable people with internet. We need to provide them exposure. Uh, obviously, not everybody can travel abroad, but internet can be a great equalizer. And with that belief, we are, you know, very near to start the smartphone financing at scale. And uh, uh, hopefully, you know, uh, when we have more smartphone users, more use cases would come and, you know, more uh, investment opportunities will arise. So coming back to topic, you know, scaling, uh, you know, global operations from Pakistan. Um, so, you know, uh, before you think about expanding globally, Pakistan, you should be focusing in very minute details of your product and services and make sure that you, you have the right team to execute things and uh, you have the right technology driven um, to scale things up. Because scaling without having the right infrastructure uh, would turn into a disaster. Uh, so, and actually that's a criminal as well, because you know your services are not good and you're scaling your marketing and you want people to have bad experience. Um, I'm not saying that, you know, if, um, despite the fact you do your best, your customers do not suffer. Sometimes it happens, but your ability to bounce back and, you know, take corrective actions and um, do the right things uh, would actually matter a lot in your success. So um, uh, suggestion is that, you know, really, really do the basics right in Pakistan and then only, you know, look outside Pakistan if you can stay in operations outside. Because in Pakistan, um, you may have, uh, no, uh, Iram, can you hear me? Again, call came in, so I don't know if you guys can hear yeah, me. Yeah, we can hear you. 
Okay, cool. So, so I was I was telling that you know in Pakistan you have a lot of references, you have friend, family, and some relationships who who, who can trust you, you know, with initial services. But when you start when you're moving outside, the competition is really, really, really tough. You know, um, in Pakistan, fortunately or unfortunately, not many international brands out there. Uh, so competition is not as intense as you might see outside Pakistan. The moment you step out in, outside Pakistan, you go to Dubai, you go to Middle East, you see all foreign brands there, all com- big companies with heavy budgets. And their idea is not to actually win the customers, but their idea is to kill you, right? So uh, with their money, they do a lot of burn and they actually try to uh, put you out of business. Um, so they, they know that, you know, you don't have that much depth. So what I'm saying is that if you can... If you cannot compete on the uh, financial side, if you can compare, compete very well on the service side and you have a very good and solid product and service strategy, I think you can still compete. So therefore, a uh, very simple suggestion and recommendation is that you, know, you should be focusing very well uh, on your operations locally in Pakistan. Start with one city, then you know, start penetrating into other cities. Uh, once you have covered market and you realize that, okay, now you're ready to compete in the international market uh, where your key differentiator of your product and services would be the product and services itself. It's not, it's not going to be a relationship that you know somebody in the top of the organization and the person will help you. It will be purely on merit. Uh, so um, the idea is to execute, to have a flawless execution plan in, in, in Pakistan first and then start moving into other countries. So again, you know, this Ocean Private Limited, which we are expanding globally now, uh, 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 you know, now we have learned that thing. So we have developed a playbook and now we are replicating in different markets. Um, in Pakistan, I'm launching this Kispe uh, in Pakistan, but our plan is to launch this service in four to five countries within next 18 months. Because, uh, you know, uh, even before the launch, we have kind of developed the playbook and we believe that we can replicate this in other markets very quickly as well. So it really depends that the product that you have developed, the services that you have developed, do they have markets outside? If the markets are big enough, uh, markets outside are more lucrative, then only you should plan to you know, expand globally. Otherwise, there's no point of you know, spreading yourself too thin and then maybe losing out your reputation and revenue in Pakistan while you're trying to you know, focus outside. So, um, you know, this is uh, pretty much about myself and this is uh, what I'm trying to do here. And uh, really, uh, I feel very connected. I feel always connected. I feel like, you know, I'm coming back to home when anything happens at Founder Institute um, because it gives me very good memory uh, of, you know, learning some world-class methodologies to how to build a company. And uh, some of the documents I still use. So uh, it's really a great platform. And it really opens up, uh, you know, your network globally, because there's a once you graduate from Founder Institute, you become a part of a Facebook community where they're all graduate companies out out there. So you can actually reach out to them, you can share your problems, and you they can you can learn actually you can learn a lot of things from you know other founders. And these are the people who have built companies, so they understand your pain. And at times they're very helpful in terms of like you know giving you very good suggestions. And obviously, you know, bringing a next level of networking, reaching out to people who you might not be able to do it otherwise. So uh, this is pretty much from my side. And uh, um, as uh, Ahmed was saying that, you know, um, somebody says that it cannot be done in Pakistan. Um, actually, what they're saying that they cannot do it uh, in Pakistan. It's their belief. So don't let their belief rub on you. Um, you should have your separate belief. I mean, um, the company that, that we build is, alhamdulillah, like it's extremely kind. It's a, a multi-million dollar revenue company. And can you imagine that it's an investor-free company, it's a debt-free company, and we build in Pakistan against all the odds. Uh, so everything is possible. Um, it, it, you just need persistence. You just need to make sure that you're not giving up. Um, uh, so we, we've had multiple attacks on our company in the past. You know, there were times we thought that, okay, company is going off, you know, and tomorrow might, we might not be working. So, you know, there were so many incidents, but every time, um, you know, we came out because we've been operating 
with all our honesty and with all our dedication. So when you do these things, uh, you know, um, some invisible helps always come and help you. Um, so, you know, um, so whenever there's a challenge, you know, you and you don't, you haven't done anything wrong, you should be very upfront about it and you should not be worried about it and you should, you know, really face it and you should believe that, you know, if you haven't done anything wrong, you know, things will be fine. And that's what we have, you know, learned a lot of times in, in our journey. So again, you know, <laughs> after five, six years, when I'm about to launch my company, there's another kiss pay, you know, uh, you, with that Q, Q-I-S-S-T-P-A-Y. Um, so I, I didn't know that, you know, okay, this, this would happen the time I, was, I will be launching my company. But you see, these are the challenges. So it's a real world. These are real challenges. And, um, but you've got to be patient and you've got to be, you know, play your group. Um, um, nothing to panic and just believe in yourself and execute the strategy that you have. Um, so that's it from my side. If you have any questions, uh, please, uh, I'm here to answer those, those questions. Thank you very much, Asu uh, It was really an interesting talk and uh, thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, so uh, I would invite all the participants to, uh, if they have any questions and the floor is open, all the three speakers are here. So if you want to ask any question from anyone, you are welcome. So somebody write that, oh, I thought that it is the same case. Uh, so um, the the uh, the basically the business model of both the companies is the same. Uh, we both are buy now pay later company. So the smart food financing that we are starting uh, would be buy now pay later, and uh, it would be you know on um, easy installment. But the thing is, we are truly Sharia compliant, Islamic financing. Uh, we are not serving only credit card and debit card customers, but we are serving all. In fact, we are. Um, we are going after those customers who do not have any kind of credit facility in Pakistan. So I'm talking about your guards, I'm talking about your maids, I'm talking about people living in the suburbs, in the villages, and they want to upgrade. So we are developing our retail network nationwide. And, uh, uh, you know, uh, the buy now, pay, later, pay later thing, economic financing thing would be available to them. So, you know, again, as I said, that um, challenges are there. Um, you know, I mean, those, these kind of challenges, which you don't, you, which you don't anticipate, but things happen. So things happen, you got to face and, uh, um, I, uh, yep. SP.com, uh, Abdul Basit, thank you very much for sharing that. Okay. So, uh, if anyone has any questions, uh, they can type in, in the chat or they can just unmute themselves and ask the question. So, uh, Iram, uh, help me with this thing. Uh, people who are in this session are going to join Pandora Institute or already part of the Pandora Institute at the point in time. Uh, they are expected to join. Okay, so basically this is pre-launch uh, event, right? Yeah. Okay, 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 cool. So what I can tell you uh, that, you know, the program is really wonderful. Um, um, you can think that, you know, there are so many online uh, courses, so many online stuff available. So there's really no point of, you know, going to primary institute program. But I tell you that it's not easy to graduate from, you know, from the program. In fact, I remember when in, in my time, there were about 25 people who enrolled. Uh, but within four months, only there were four graduates. So back then, this, the strategy of our institute was extremely strict. Um, they used to give you a lot of assignments, and at times I used to spend the entire day uh, on, you know, uh, entire day. And I was running a company. Imagine, uh, so I used to lock my door and used to work. Uh, so I was the founder and CEO, so I was not hiding anything from anyone. But it required a lot of concentration to, you know, do those assignments. So uh, it's not easy. And one, but once you do that, once you have completed the Founder Institute program, so you know the foundation, you know, you know the principles of how to build a world-class company and you know, um, um, what, what is the process. So plus you also get to the network, as I mentioned earlier, and you also get to, you know, uh, learn from the mentors that, you know, are generally are very difficult to uh, get access to. So Pandora Institute brings a lot of 
you know, quality mentors and advisors to all the sessions. Uh, uh, and I'm hoping that this time this will happen uh, to you guys as well, whosoever will join. Um, <clears throat> but nevertheless, uh, uh, there are so many options now. Uh, and uh, I certainly, you know, uh, give full marks to Founder Institute program. Uh, so if you are confused at this point in time, uh, so I can suggest that you should take it. Yeah, because, thank because, you there is, because, because there is no other program like this in Pakistan. That I can tell you. For sure. Agreed yeah. 100%. <laughs> yeah, thank yeah. you. Uh, thank you, uh, Asif. Raz is also here and he is agreeing to what you have said because he is also one of the founders uh, who have graduated. So, uh, Ayaz, yeah. would you add something to this? <clears throat> I think Asif Bhai covered it. Um, whoever is joining um, should be very serious about it because uh, it is not going to be easy. And uh, but <clears throat> the, as as long as you do it and you you get through it, then uh, I think it's definitely helpful. So, uh, Mr. Uh, Basit has shared the link uh, in the chat. So if anyone who is interested to explore the program or would like to join the program, they are welcome to visit the link and register. At least uh, I would suggest that uh, there is a, when you go and register on the website, there is a test which gives you a scoring or an idea about where do you stand about the entrepreneur mindset. So it is a fun test, a bit difficult in the sense that it's, it's about you, yourself. So it's not about asking you or testing your knowledge, but testing yourself. So uh, it's a very interesting test. So I would say go and take the test and see where you stand. And then maybe if you feel like, then you can always uh, welcome to join. So far, uh, so no questions from uh, the participants. Uh, if anyone would like to ask well, any questions. One comment. Uh, so, Emma, uh, unfortunately, we haven't spoken before. Emma, is it still around or has he gone? Yeah, Emma and Sab is still here. Still here. Okay, great. Uh, so, Emma, yeah, uh, never is, uh, you know, spoken. Hello. Hello. Did, Emma, are you, you there? Me? Did you, I'm here. Yeah, I can hear. I can hear you. Yeah. So, uh, uh, congratulations. Yeah, what you guys have done is really a. Uh, uh, marvelous stuff. Uh, it's nothing less than a marvel. You know, uh, when in COVID times, uh, two companies, civil and you guys, and everybody was thought that you're gone, uh, but you bounced back and uh, raised the largest round in the country and made them, you know, the entire company proud. The country proud. So hats off to you guys. Yeah, um, uh, haven't spoken to you before, uh, but uh, you guys are real inspiration. And doing, and I'm, I'm your very loyal customer. Uh, so I I order my groceries almost every day, and some of the stuff that I don't find anywhere, I get it from you, and I get it cheaper and you know hassle. We are a customer of your service, eh? so <laughs> yeah. whenever I order, I get alert. So I'm happy in that part too. <laughs> <laughs> but but hats off to you guys. You guys are phenomenal. Um, you know, bouncing back in such a difficult times. Uh, with such a, you know, I mean, people, when they're going down, they try to survive. Not only you survive, you bounce back. And that's a real, uh, you know, private story that, you know, we should be sharing in our universities for the entrepreneurs in Pakistan. So, uh, you know, really big, big admirer of you guys. Yeah, in, in fact, uh, if, as uh, Asif just said about the university, it's a very very interesting thing that I mentioned to all my students and everyone that every there are two semesters per year. So in one semester, mein, there was a speaker who said that something amazing in the transport sphere is coming up to Pakistan. <clears throat> Next semester, airlift was already launched, successful in Lahore. They came to Karachi. Next semester, I again invited them and to share the journey. Uh, and Emma Rayu was uh, there. And then next semester, COVID came in, airlift was gone. Nowhere, band service. Another turning point. Next semester, airlift was back with a huge investment that they got. 
So it's a very interesting. Every semester they are getting a jump. So let's see what comes in the next semester. Our Ahmed Sam, our next semester first semester to start over. I'm scared of your next semester. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, Or we are expecting some a big jump again <laughs> from early. Uh, so uh, things are looking uh, really interesting in the in the quick commerce uh, arena. Uh, if you see worldwide, uh, quick commerce is. Actually, it's bizarre. Actually, that the level of investments that we are seeing. Uh, so our numbers are, alhamdulillah, good, and we are. Uh, so there are there are people who we have already connected to, uh, and it looks like that uh, uh, with with South Africa, uh, our our journey to to replicate our model outside of Pakistan is also uh, also done. So it's uh, so inshallah, inshallah. Uh, Uh, we'll 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 do something. Uh, Asif, uh, thanks for the for the compliments. Uh, ये ये team work है. इसमें बहुत सारी चीजें मतलब आप अकेले तो इसका credit ले नहीं सकते. And the way this team worked, uh, मतलब I have always been fond of very process oriented nine to five or late नहीं बैठो type में ना you know fighting around. Yeah. And we we completely उसको हमने साइड में करके और जिस तरह से हमने काम किया एंड द टीम दैट दैट एक्चुअली पुल्ड इट ऑफ दे आर अमेजिंग पीपल मतलब यू हैव टू एक्चुअली मीट सम ऑफ देम टू टू फिगर आउट द द लेवल ऑफ ओनरशिप दैट वी हैव सीन फ्रॉम देम और मतलब आई कैन डू फाइव स्टार्ट्स विद देम एंड एंड प्रोबब्ली विल कैन डू समथिंग आउट ऑफ इट क्योंकि द लेवल ऑफ ट्रस्ट दैट हैज बीन बिल्ड सो that's that's actually uh, amazing so and now right. people are driving us or uske liye uh, so we we kept ch- changing our our way so humne trust pe bahut kaam kiya hai logon ki culture building pe bahut zyada kaam kiya hai integrity 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 pe bahut zyada kaam kiya hai and people have responded to that mere liye thoda sa naya isliye tha kyunki services business pe thoda sa difficult hota hai ab ek customer ke liye hum sari cheezon ko अलाइन कर रहे होते हैं प्रेजेंट कर रहे होते हैं प्रॉब्लम फाइंडर्स भी हम हैं कस्टमर से फोन पे बुरा भला सुन के यू हैव टू एक्चुअली वर्क ऑन ऑन अ सॉल्यूशन एंड देन प्रेजेंट बैक टू देम इट वाज इट वाज डिफरेंट फॉर अस सो इट्स अ इट्स अ टीम वर्क एंड आई थिंक दो पार्ट्स हैं इसके एक है अपने बिजनेस को प्रेजेंट करना ये जो फंड रेजिंग है इट्स इट्स एन आर्ट इट्स नॉट it's not probably a science yeah, yeah. it's an it's absolutely an absolutely so so ye ek part hai wo ek portion aur dusra hai aapka tech team so jab aap why combinator wagaira ko bhi padhenge aur usme padhenge wo kehta hai ki yaar apna co-founder technical co-founder ho to aur phir wo kehta hai apne technical co-founder ko majorly equitize karo kyunki wo kehta hai ki that is the formula that is what works aur so ye ye jo equity business hai na that works so that is anybody who is starting a startup theek hai you have to you just just ownership ki baat kar raha hu logon ki maine unko 50 50000 rupees salary pe maine unko hire kiya tha theek hai with equity theek hai is waqt zahir hai unke numbers nahi bata sakta lekin their equity has just no no out of the roof on numbers jo maine main kabhi unke liye maine bhi nahi socha tha theek hai और so, अब हम उस चीज पे हंसते हैं कि यार वो हम पांच हजार पे बहस कर रहे थे ठीक है बट दिस कैन हैपन इट्स नॉट बाउंड टू हैपन बट दिस कैन हैपन सो व्हेन यू एक्चुअली उनकी जो ड्राइव है फॉर फॉर वर्किंग फॉर एयर लिफ्ट इज नॉट मी इट्स नॉट मी कॉलम ने क्या लोग रात को बारह बजे वो मुझे उठा रहे होते हैं कि यार सफर में इशू है तो हम तो ये कर रहे हैं वो कर रहे हैं तीन बजे डिप्लॉयमेंट हो रही है एक बजे हल्ला गुल्ला लगा हुआ है आई एम नॉट दन कॉलिंग अभी देखे अभी पीछे टेबल टेनिस हो रही है इधर ठीक है अभी वो अच्छा <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there there is one question and one comment comment is for e ocean i'll read the comment first and then i'll move on to the question uh, the comment says glad to see a long journey of e ocean which is now making waves across the globe 
with their recent WhatsApp service integration. So a clap thank for- you. Thank you very much. Thank you very and, much, thank you very much. Really appreciate it. And uh, there is a question for airlift, uh, Emma, uh, uh, it says respected sir, so it's still working in the market and their ideas same as airlift. So why you have stopped airlift market miss misses airlift buses? Uh, so it's uh, it's it's very important to understand. Uh, civil uh, is also running in, in some major losses or okay. Uh, जो services होती है ना transport की तरह वो seasonal नहीं हो सकती. You cannot have buses run in October and not run in November or run in December and not run in January. जब तक COVID से related आपके पास कोई answer नहीं आता, there is always a next wave open जिसका हमें नहीं पता. There is no vaccine जिसको हम सब trust करते हैं. There is no vaccine जिसको even vaccine manufacturers trust करते हैं. वो कहते हैं booster dose and all that. There is no single vaccine just to sare mulk trust karte. So the problem is that we don't know if the if COVID is gone. We don't know if it will bounce back. So aap saw basen leke aa jate hai kisi se aur kal ko ek tisri wave aa jati hai wo kehte hai usko band kar. Theek hai? There is an immense loss around that. So as much as we want to run that, it is not consistent business. You, you cannot keep a business and then shut it down and then run it and shut it down. ये वाले लॉसेस हमने भी बेर किए हैं ये वाले लॉसेस सिविल ने मल्टीपल टाइम्स बेर किए हैं वो अभी भी कह रहे हैं और वो एक बहुत बड़े रिस्क पे खेल रहे हैं कि अन खुदा ना करे कि ये दोबारा एक वेव आ गई तो व्हाट विल हैपन टू ऑल देयर कॉन्ट्रैक्ट्स बिकॉज़ देयर आर ड्राइवर्स एंड बसेस एंड स्टिकर्स एंड दिस इज अ ह्यूज एक्सपेंस अराउंड दैट तो इस वजह से बसेस चलाना जो है ये एज मच एज इट इज अ नीड ठीक है इट्स नॉट एडवाइजेबल एज अ सारी दुनिया में जो ट्रेन और बसेस और ये सब चल रहे हैं ना ये सब्सिडीज पे चलते हैं कोविड के दिनों में खाली ट्रेन चलाते रहे हैं पूरे यूरोप में ठीक है और चलाते रहे हैं ठीक है वो सब्सिडीज के ऊपर चलते हैं हमें ये फंडेड पैसे पे चलाना है तो उसके लिए एक बहुत कैलकुलेटेड रिस्क आपको देना पड़ेगा इस वक्त ये एडवाइजेबल है बट द फ्यूचर इज अन दो जैसे ही हमारे पास जरा भी सर्टनिटी होगी सीरियस प्रॉब्लम Gee, thank you. Uh, inshallah, soon we will see airlift back on roads. Uh, inshallah, hopefully the this pandemic will be gone soon. Acha, there is one another one question which says, uh, with airlift moving towards fintech, what is the future of your current grocery thing? What is the future of fintechs in Pakistan with the regulations with state bank? Airlift moving to fintech. That's interesting. I don't know. Uh, so, look, this is very important. Uh, focus is very important. If you go to the Apple site, so Apple is promoting one product at a time. It's even if it's a year, but two year, but two year. They have 50 products in the whole shop. Okay, focus in a product is very important for any product. Kareem has only been driving one car for four years. Only one sedan car has been driving. There was no Kareem Go, Go Plus, Ye, Raksha, etc. After a certain while, when they got stabilized, something to work on. So, if we nail this e-commerce, then it will be enough. Uh, Asad has heard stories of his own. It was SMS in the beginning. Okay. It's not the third month or four months that you went to it and went to it and went to it. You stabilize in a certain way. First seven years, yeah. We we did first seven years pure SMS, nothing else. We were just getting identifying, simplifying, and making sure messages are being delivered. So first seven years. So I I completely agree with Emmet that the product focus needs to be there. Um, and uh, uh, so so the thing is in Pakistan, unfortunately, uh, best of the best people create a very complicated product. Right? They try to do everything. Um, so take an example of WhatsApp. WhatsApp for first few years, for many years, it was just a tech service. And if you remember back then, Skype used to be, uh, you know, used at scale globally. Uh, Viber used to be used for the calling purpose. So WhatsApp, you know, it was never a technology challenge for WhatsApp to enable voice. But they kept on penetrating the market with the simplest of the product, text, 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 text. And then they 
actually introduce picture messaging and then voice you know and then and then they came up with a video and then after a very long time they introduced four callers at the same time and now recently they they made you know eight callers uh, can speak to each other at the same time so technology was never it never a challenge for them it was the simple product roll out and adoption of that they made sure that the adoption there is no problem in the adoption and the product remains very very simple so i think the whatsapp is one of the oldest tech product that we use which is almost the same when we use it first time 15 years back um you know with uh, different features but the ui ux and everything remains the same so keeping it simple is an art because we get swamped by you know with so many great things great possibilities somebody comes up and tell oh you know you can do this i don't know ahmed ki zain mein bhi khayalat aate honge rozan log bolte honge यार वो तो जो जितने बाजार और रिटेलो और ये सारे लोग हैं इन्होंने बायना और पेलेटर वाली चीज कर दी है तुम भी बायना और पेलेटर वाली चीज कर दो आई डोंट नो व्हाट आई एम आई आई एम थिंकिंग यू नो थाउजेंड्स ऑफ आइडियाज मस्ट बी हिटिंग एम अदर एवरीडे बट um just to keep things simple one thing and do it with excellence this is something that i've also learned it from a telco industry and that you know they they beat it to the last moment they they, they create one ad and they beat it to the death so you know something that you should be actually as a founder and a start uh, you know a founder of the startup should focus on executing things at scale flawlessly and then once you have created a brand once you have created a trust of the customers then you can you know move on to move out into other areas um, but if, if you start doing too many things at the same time i think you will lose out the focus and you will compromise on the overall offerings of your platform Uh, so I completely align and agree with Emma on that part. Uh, keep it simple. Keep focus on what you're trying to do. But I'm I don't know if Emma guys would you know if the COVID goes away, uh, they would go back to the bus service again, and then they try to keep two companies, two services separately. Um, I don't know. Uh, but uh, but let's see. I don't know what the plans are. Yeah, well, look. Uh, so, so you have to have focus, and उसके बाद अगर दो कंपनीज हों या चार हों वो सब कुछ करें. There is a McDonald's model, simple menu, चार तरह के बर्गर, एक सिंपल प्लेन कोन आइसक्रीम उसपे डिफरेंट कोड करके, तीस हजार आउटलेट्स, works ना? So I think uh, you can scale at uh, with simplicity. So, uh, thank you very much. Uh, as we don't have any further questions from the participants that was the last one so uh, i would personally like to thank uh, asif and uh, ahmed and um, ayaz and i would like to and we have a guest with asif as well <laughs> mashallah uh, so uh, we uh, i would like to invite uh, umar or asfar i think asfar has logged off umar just to give the concluding uh, remarks if you can uh umar i no, sorry umar has also left so but yeah. yeah. concluding remarks so i think uh, your sure. remarks are concluding <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah from my side i have concluded so basit over to you back okay thanks so thank you asif and ahmed uh, for sharing the exciting journey and glad to know uh, ahmed that uh, he lived his launch in south africa so wishing you and your team all the best from our side and uh, same goes with uh, asif uh, as recently in barcelona conference uh, you guys have uh, make us proud as pakistani so uh, looking forward to have more such big good news from your side as well uh, in the end uh, so i would like to thanks all our, our participant for today's session and uh, really looking forward uh, to you guys uh, in the next session which will be ha having on 2nd november we will be inviting uh, uh, graduates from founder institute program who were uh, participated last year so we will be having Ayaz uh, once again, uh, and uh, along with Mirza Ajaz Atar, who is the founder of the Right Careers, as well as uh, Atik from uh, Committee.com. Thank you, Ira.
And thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. Thank you. See you, guys. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Love is. Okay. Love is.